the Detroit Public Library's oceans of possibilities craft kit videos. I'm Miss Mary Jo. I'm Miss Janet. And today we are going to make paper ocean creatures and we are going to start with our little squid here. So what we're going to do is we are going to take our paper and we are going to cut some thin strips because I tried this with thicker strips and it did not work. So this is, what is this, six? Yeah, six strips of paper on the paper the long way because we need some pretty big circles. But... Actually, we need eight. Sorry. <laughs> These got two tentacles, but actually, I think they really have six but, or eight, but we're not going to worry about it. Two, four, five, six. Oh, make a couple of strips. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to make these into circles. And the lady on the internet did this to make her circles. Then you gotta figure out which one you put on the bottom. So this is actually gonna take a couple minutes because it's gonna have to dry. So you're gonna just make a circle. Oh, oh, go ahead. You're gonna work from the outside one in. So there's one. I guess after the first one, it doesn't really matter too much. There you go, we can share Miss Janet. Mm -hmm. And they really are gonna take a couple minutes to dry. Watch, I'm surprised they haven't started popping open yet. You're gonna have to keep an eye on them while they're drying because they will wanna just pop back open. And the nice thing about this jellyfish is it doesn't really need eyes. I mean, I'm, they, in real life, I'm sure they have eyes, but this guy's not gonna have any eyes. It's kind of a, You might even want to glue them. Ah, I've made a nut. Ah. <laughs> glue them together so they stay. Okay. Bad little jellyfish. Once we have all of our little bits together here, we're gonna make its little legs. And this is not the way it looked last time. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, look at hers, all nice and neat. Mine's all crooked. I'll put it in there now. Okay, stay here, stay. How'd you do yours? Hey, <laughs> okay, we'll use Miss Janet's as an example. Anyway. Okay, so <laughs> for the bottom bits, you're gonna just fold it a little bit there. And I don't know if you guys have ever curled a ribbon. You use your scissors and you just pull it up against it to give it a nice little curl. And then we are gonna glue these right on the bottom. I think I made them a little too big. And then you're gonna glue on one. tentacles look a little curly and a little wild because he is a little curly and a little wild. Oh, my ears end up looking so much better than mine. That's fine. It's just holding it a little <laughs> Oh, I was just too impatient. Thank you. That's perfect. <laughs> to hold it. I did make this one actually. So this nice. is our jellyfish. And then we are going to make an actual a fish too. Okay. We're done with this one. Miss Janet, you ready to get a different colored piece of paper? I am. So whatever color you would like your fish. I think I'm gonna have mine's gonna be pink. Oh, are you gonna do brown? Pink? Are you gonna do brown? Okay, so the same thing. We are gonna cut out how many strips was yours? It worked out very good. Was it three strips? Um three. Oh, three worked out good. Okay, so we're gonna cut out three strips again, kind of thin of the paper. Hmm. 
And then he's going to need a top fin, which could just be a bump. And he's going to need so just a bump for the top fin. Okay. Then he needs a tail, which would be maybe two bumps. Like a heart, the top of a heart. How's that? Two. There you go. Perfect. And I'll kidnap the glue and start gluing. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do strips. Now imagine if you made these all in orange. Those would be perfect for Halloween. Or these would be cute to hang up just as a ball. I've seen entire strips of these, uh, just the balls themselves as a decoration for a holiday in whatever color. Red and green for Christmas. So. You can make, make strips and colors too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I was holding it together, Miss Janice. That was the secret. So I'm gonna hold mine together this time. One, two, I'm gonna do a couple. Ah, holding it together was the secret. Thank you, Miss Janice. I'm glad you figured that out. There's my bottom. I told you it might take a couple minutes to dry. And this one needs to go over here. Got a little dot of glue in the bottom, hold them together in the right spot. I'm going to dot the glue on the top to get them to make your shape. And then you have your circle. And then for the eyes, I just cut out little pieces of white paper in little circles. See, he needs to dry a little bit more. I right, got this little orange one. Now I'm just going to glue his stuff on here. <laughs> They're all falling down. All falling down. Oh. oh, those eyes make a big difference. It actually looks like something now. Hold on, I'll turn him around in one second. Let's get his eyes glued on. Two eyes. Two eyes. Yep, and it's gonna take a few minutes of holding that glue to dry. Mm -hmm. Glue sticks are like that. Elmer's glue is like that. Fancy glue is like that. This top piece here. I did this one earlier, that's why. Oh, oh, that's his tail, sorry. And then I did his top and like, oh, and then his mouth. Sorry, I didn't tell you to make a mouth. Okay, and then the mouth was just like another little tiny heart. Here's his top fin. Here is his little mouth. Let's be the mouth like this. <laughs> hmm. So there we go. He's got his eyes, his top fin, and his back fin. And we have ourselves a fish. We'll start populating our ocean with our jellyfish. Okay, you ready to make an anemone real quick, Miss Janet? Oh, yeah. You like anemones. Anemones are simple. So for the anemone, we took a piece of paper and we are gluing it together here. Cut it in half. Oh, wrong way, long way. There, that way. There you go. And I did this one earlier, that's why it was drying. So we got, we put it into a circle. I'm done, but he needs a little more glue. 
And then you're gonna, before you glue them, you're gonna cut a little fringe all along the top there with your scissors. And I didn't measure, I just started cutting until it looked the way I wanted it to look. And then we're gonna glue it, bend them all down. You're gonna bend them all down, all in the same direction. And then when you glue it together, you have a sea anemone to go with. There you go. Oh, perfect. To go with your jellyfish and your little fishy. Ah, perfect. And it'll take a couple minutes to dry. All but it fits perfectly in with our sea creatures. So those are our paper sea creatures. Thanks for visiting. See you again soon.